Joining us now is Bob Kerman, a distinguished professor of gynecologic pathology. And you're here today to talk about some of the advancements in gynecologic pathology. That's correct. Um, my talk, the Maud Abbott Lecture, will be about some of the recent developments that have occurred in the field of ovarian cancer, which have really dramatically uh, elucidated our understanding of how ovarian cancer develops. And uh, these new revelations uh, will have I think enormous potential in the diagnosis and treatment of this very, very lethal disease, the most lethal uh, gynecologic malignancy. How will this be different than what we know today in this field? Well, up until recently, we knew very, very little about how ovarian cancer develops. Our treatment, our diagnosis was based on recognizing treating established cancers which have been unfortunately very ineffective. In fact, the overall survival of women with ovarian cancer has not changed over the last 50 years. And that's been due to the fact that we have not understood the mechanisms by which ovarian cancer develops. These new recent revelations have really made enormous strides forward and by understanding the mechanisms of disease we can change the entire paradigm of early detection, screening potentially, and m treatment. And will it potentially change the treatment? Will the treatment start earlier? Well, that's what we're hoping will happen. As I mentioned just a moment ago, treatment up until now has been basically radical surgery, chemotherapy directed at established cancers and has not been successful. Screening studies have not been successful. With our new understanding of the molecular pathogenesis and origin of this tumor, we're now directing our attention towards prevention of the tumor, which I think will have much, will be much more effective in reducing the burden of this uh, devastating disease. And potentially save more lives. Absolutely. Yeah. Is this a field that, uh, that more and more research is being done in, and, and are you advancing forward in that area? I believe so. Uh, when I began my training, uh, our understanding of, of ovarian cancer development, you could summarize by saying it was a black box. We knew virtually nothing. Uh, now, as a result of advances, based a lot of it on correlated morphologic and molecular genetic studies, we've understood, for, for starters, that ovarian cancer is not a single disease. It's really a family of diseases with very different origin and different pathogenesis and by making these separations we hopefully will be able to tailor treatment much more specifically. Thanks very much for telling us about it. You're very welcome.